Hey yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Nori back with another banger for y'all today. And today I'm coming at y'all with a best shooting badges for a perimeter lock. But before we hop into that, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sub Nori man. Go ahead, drop a sub and like on this video before the day even starts. Alright. Now y'all know what's going on when y'all see this face creation right here, man. That means I'm on my lock and I'm doing a video on my lock. Right? Now I seen how much y'all love my Best shooting badges for a playmaking shot creator video. It's time that I bring y'all the best shooting badges for a P lock. All right. So I don't even have all my badges maxed. And if y'all watch my TikTok or y'all are about to watch my jump shot video, and say I have an unreleased jump shot, the jump shot video is coming very soon. If not tomorrow, then the day after that. All right. So my jump shot video is coming very soon. Y'all will see I'm shooting lights out and I don't even have my badges maxed. But if y'all did watch the TikTok, I only had like nine shooting badges. Still shooting like I had 22 shooting badges. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and hop into this shooting badge. You know what I'm saying? I have, let's see, 18 out of 20. You know what I'm saying? I almost maxed this build out. Like I was saying in one of my other videos. Once I get this build maxed out, I'll be able to stream on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Showcase my my full potential as a lock. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to Twitch, I feel it's more it's more skill about the game than it is about the entertainment you know saying like i make content on youtube but i still want to showcase how good i am at the game at the end of the day and the way my wi-fi set up i can't do that 100 percent on guard you know what i'm saying i'll be i'll be all types of lag and all types of stuff but on my p-lock you know what I'm saying i could chill a little bit get right and then you know what i'm saying but y'all gonna see when i get over on twitch i don't gotta say too much let's hop straight into these shooting badges i know i'm rambling a lot all right so this is what I got on right now. This is 18. Now I know a lot of y'all have a 24 defensive badge P lock. So y'all only get 17 shooting, if I'm not mistaken. If it's 17, I would suggest that. Okay, so y'all get gold badges, so y'all wouldn't get this Hall of Fame, right? So y'all gonna have to just envision this for me, you feel me? Because I don't have the luxury of taking my badges off right now. But you know what I'm saying? Just just listen to me, all right? What I would suggest y'all do, because y'all have 16, right? So y'all have to take two of my badges. I mean, y'all have 17, so y'all have to take one of my badges off. Automatically, y'all would take off Hot Zone Hunter because y'all can't get a Hall of Fame. Y'all can only get a gold. So if that's the case, I would do these same exact badges that I have, except gold Hot Zone Hunter if you do have 17 shooting badges, right? If you have 17 shooting badges, that's what I suggest. These exact badges, except gold Hot Zone Hunter. Now, if I'm actually making a mistake and it's not 17 shooting badges and it's only 16 shooting badges, I'll tell you to um, make your house 100 gold and then just take off your dead eye because in reality, bronze dead eye, it works sometimes, but it's not necessary. If you shoot with, I almost, I almost told you out a little sauce, you know what I'm saying? Wait for that jump shot video, you know what I'm saying? If you got the right jump shot on, bro, just know you won't need your dead eye to be on at all when you see the jump shot i give you all right but like i said if you only get 16 take off dead eye put your house on 100 gold because you won't be able to get a hall of fame anyway right but now let me speak on my green red pie chart locks all right all of y'all you know what i'm saying i'm a part of family so i gotta i gotta spill some sauce for y'all you know what i'm saying i right now because i only have 18 shooting and 15 defensive right now i shoot better than i play defense and that's just a fact, you know what I'm saying? Y'all watch the streams, y'all see, I it, just know, it's, it's some clips out there that's just wild, man. I got a Pro-Am buzzer beater that my, my little cousin I'm posting on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can watch that if y'all want. He'll say something in the comments if he watched the video. But I ain't gonna speak too much on it, you know what I'm saying? So, when it comes to me shooting, I shoot lights out with these badges right here. But for my green, red brothers, I want to say with these extra two, there's two things that you can do. Because I suggest you keep these badges that I have on right here. Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, Corner Special Hall of Fame, Green Machine Hall of Fame, and Ranger Center Hall of Fame are not necessary in my book. Because you're not going to need to shoot from half court. Hall of Fame Ranger Center is to shoot from half court. With Gold Ranger Center, you can shoot from the wing, you shoot from the hash. The only reason why you would have Hall of Fame is to shoot from half court right green machine 
Now, I know it's a lot of locks out there that y'all look up to and y'all admire and stuff that don't rock Green Machine, but in my opinion, Green Machine is a must. Even though I know the reasoning for it, let me explain. The reason they don't rock Green Machine is simply because there's not going to be a time where the lock is going to shoot more than two threes a game, if we're being honest, you know what I'm saying? So the reason is like, you only got to shoot two threes, you don't really need Green Machine. But me, on the other hand, I believe Green Machine will help you shoot that second one for sure, guaranteed green, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. And Green Machine does not have to be Hall of Fame unless you're a play shot and, you know what I'm saying, you're shooting that many times, so that's why I'm rocking it on gold. Corner Specialist has been proven to work on bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame. It's been proven to work on all levels, but I'm not about to waste a Hall of Fame badge on Corner Specialist because... It's the corner for one, I already have a hot spot. So that's how's 100 Hall of Fame for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Two, it's going to be a catch and shoot shot majority of the time. So with these two badges, having all three of these badges on Hot Zone Hunter, Corner Specialist, and Catch and Shoot, it is no need to put Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame or Corner Specialist Hall of Fame. Now, Clutch Shooter, the reason Clutch Shooter is on because when that score is 19 to 19, and the guard drops out the corner and they're telling you that you're gonna have to hit this shot to win the game that clutch shooter come in clutch you might hit a white for game you think you're gonna miss but you might just hit it you know what i'm saying so it's another TikTok like that where my my uh my cousin same person he blocks a dude with his in he blocks him for the game when they hit me in the corner i shot a white but it was cash you know what i'm saying so clutch shooter does come in clutch is exactly what it says but I'm, i know i'm ramming a lot about each badge and i didn't tell y'all what these last two badges where i'm gonna use them at these last two badges will either go to clutch shooter silver and dead eye silver and that's just because nori is a risky man when it comes to shooting that ball i got way too much confidence in myself you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna lie i got way too much confidence in myself that's the only reason why i would put dead eye on silver but for y'all y'all can keep it on bronze if you're not like me i'm saying i will shoot any shot in that corner give me a little bit of space i'm telling you i'm pulling no cap but if y'all don't got the confidence like me keep your dead out bronze and put it on volume shooting you know what i'm saying it's only two badges with these badges alone i'm already shooting six for six in a game where they keep leaving the corner you know what i'm saying so you can keep your dead out bronze and then put on volume shooter silver or you can put your clutch shooter silver and your volume shooter bronze. But I would not suggest that you put on any of these badges such as flex release, difficult shot, steady shooter, tireless shooter. You wouldn't need tireless shooter because you shouldn't be tired. You know what I'm saying? If you're tired, you're doing something. You're doing something wrong because you shouldn't be tired. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing about hot start is you're only, again, you're only going to be shooting two to three shots at max a game. You know what I'm saying? So hot start is... You know what I'm saying? You could almost take that out of the picture. But that's going to pretty much wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? I know I did a a, a weird job of uh, explaining everything because I don't have my badges to take them off and move them around. But if y'all listen to what I said, y'all understand what I'm talking about. And um, you'll get a clear depiction of what you should do with your shooting badges as a P-Lock. Um... If I do end up changing these, I'll probably make a YouTube short telling y'all an updated version. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make a whole nother video because I feel like I made the same video back to back. So I'll just do a little YouTube short. So I'm quick and easy for y'all to watch. But um, that's going to wrap it up for these shooting badges, man. On a P-Lock, if you, if you want to shoot like Nori, you know what I'm saying? Never mind, I ain't going to speak on it. When I drop the jump shot video, y'all see how good I shoot. I don't got to say too much. I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it up right there. I appreciate all the love I've been getting on my channel. We should hit 1,500 today. The day that I dropped this video, we should hit 1,500. For everybody who's new to the channel, please, I'm begging you at this point, just drop that sub. We right there at 1,500. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and drop that sub if you want to support. And I appreciate everybody who watched to the end. Actually, if you watch to the end, let me go ahead and figure out, hmm, comment down below your favorite SpongeBob character. You know what I'm saying? No contact, just your favorite SpongeBob character. We don't need none of the people that didn't make it to the end to understand what's going on, all right? So I appreciate everybody who made it to the end. That's going to wrap it up right there. It's been your boy Nori, and uh, I'm out. 
Don't know why they keep doing me wrong You got only one time and I'm wrong And I told you that I was just drunk I get people just leave me alone You know I'm a man and know I'm not sad But I'm not a freak and all They told me I'm worthless, no I'm not perfect I got a freak and all And I'm sorry I couldn't have never And I'm sorry I'm worried in a sense And I'm sorry I'm too late back